hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello my name is ometere but on here i'm known as metalicious the one and only and guys i'm so excited we hit 500 yesterday i just want to thank god first of all for being my anchor and secondly i'd like to thank you i'd like to thank you all that have decided to stick with me on this journey of content creation and i'm super glad that i have 500 subbies like i feel so good so thank you guys so much i do not take any of these for granted which is why i'm doing today's video a get to know me again because i have new subscribers and i feel like my very first video my very first please don't watch it <laughs> my very first get to know me video i was watching it yesterday and oh my god cringe but that's 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 what um content creation is about right you get to see your growth and my growth was really growth thing <laughs> if that makes any sense so i'm going to be answering some very very basic questions i did not put up any questions i'm just asking questions i think that people would want to know about me and my channel so let's go so firstly what type of content will i be creating on this channel i'll be creating lifestyle content beauty content and faith talk right so those are the three things that i'm going to be creating on this channel my lifestyle videos my um lifestyle videos include my vlogs day-to-day -day living you know all of that um content creation journey and stuff like that and you know topics i'm going to be discussing like random topics that people like are you know random things i feel like people should know then faith talk right basically about my faith my christian journey all of that my bible study and stuff like that and what god thinks about certain situations in our lives so i'm just going to be talking about random topics but it relates to you know my faith journey and revolves around jesus okay and then beauty content because i'm a makeup artist and you know i enjoy beauty content i'm just going to be doing that on here and i know that there are so many people that don't learn because i have like i'm kind of a beauty educator I think I'm a beauty educator, but right now I feel like I can be giving free content on YouTube for that. So what inspired you to start making videos on YouTube? Guys, if, if I'm being very honest, right? I don't think I've ever shared this story before, so I'm going to be sharing it today. My son started her own YouTube video channel, rather, before I did. And that was like during the COVID period. And when she started, my parents were not really, they didn't really understand, you know, about content creation then and then about YouTube. They felt like you're putting your life out there. But later on, God bless my parents, they're so supportive. They realized that, okay, it was a good thing. So Mimi continued and... I kind of liked what she was doing, you know, um, her channel, you know, comments in front of the camera. But I was suffering from something back then, right? Which was, um, I wasn't really proud of myself. I wasn't proud of how I looked. I did not like how I looked, guys. Like, to be honest, I hated how I looked. How I looked. And I was like in COVID, right? I was, I had this very loose self-esteem. But like, I did a video on that. It's natural, I'm resting on natural beauty. I shared tips on how I've been able to, you know, work on myself and how I feel so confident now coming in front of camera and even meeting people. And, you know, yeah. But, um, so I hated myself. I, I was just always imagining myself, like, how would I come in front of the camera? Especially if I was coming in front of the camera without makeup. Like, how would I look? Like, I, I never liked how I looked. Like, if a guy or anybody, you know, she told me that oh you look beautiful i always used to think it was a lie let me not lie to you guys but later on i started embracing my natural beauty so yeah i had that doubt and you know it just closed the chapter for me like i don't think i'm look i look good enough to even put myself out there and then shortly after like i was in a talking stage with somebody and the person just left me like the person was there <laughs> and then like at that period right i was my lowest i was low guys i was so low and i was now looking for things to bring me back to life i was looking for things to do to bring me back to life and then i started my youtube video like that that day the, the, the night i filmed my first video that was not even my first video i filmed the video before which i never posted if i can even find video i'll show you guys a snippet or something but um I then, you know, just put in my chairs and put in whatever, like my cutting, nothing was even put together. And then I started filming and I got support. I got like people, people, people liked it. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to look at anybody's face and I'm not going to look at, oh, I'm not beautiful. And I shut up. You're beautiful. Okay. So that's how, that's my content. That's my, that's my YouTube story. That's how I started YouTube. To do it. <laughs> so thirdly, what's your favorite video you've created and why? I don't think I have a favorite video, to be honest. I don't think I have that oh that one favorite video. Nah. I don't I don't think I have any favorite video. So what are some of the goals you have for your channel in the next year? Right. So I'm going to be setting goals right now. It's something that I did not used to do before. 
right i don't used to set goals for my channel for my Insta instagram and stuff like that but recently i've started setting goals so i set a goal for my youtube that by december as i pray to be as consistent as i am this 30 days right i hope to attain 1500 subscribers by december god willing god helping me i hope to attain that and i know that we go is possible so um my channel will be monetized i also want to be monetized mid of next year i'm putting mid of next year because i'm trying to be kind of realistic as well but there's nothing god cannot do there's actually nothing god cannot do so if, if you're leaving it with my faith i'm saying by the end of this year i should be monetized let's see let's put it to it for my yeah so that's for my channel so what's your process of creating videos from start to finish um i script my videos most of the time today i'm using my phone because i got some questions of online and stuff like that i didn't take it down to book so you book but i have this purple book i'm sure you guys must have seen that purple book <laughs> i always use that i always script my videos there that's why i pour my ideas okay and then i go by it probably day two or even the morning where i'm about to film i just have it on that you know like the camera you know and i start to film with um scripting filming well, first of all, before scripting, you have to think. You have to, what, what do I want to talk about, right? Then you script your videos and then you film it and then editing process and then, you know, posting. How do you come up with ideas for your videos? Most of my ideas are, see, it's God. Let me not lie to you guys. Like, when I sit down sometimes and I'm scripting, I'm like, where did I get this idea from? It's God, first of all. Secondly, I kind of, uh, I watch other people's videos. I watch other people's um, channels and I try and of like, get ideas and inspiration from people as well on what to even talk about sometimes it could be a topic with that i've had with my friend and stuff like that so it's just really random it's not really random at the same time it's really random up you get what are some challenges you face while creating content and how have you overcome them first of all um i used to i used to focus on numbers focus on analytics and then i realized that it's not really about the numbers it's not really about the do the content you want to do put out the content you want to put out like try your best to put out content that you know that people would want to watch like don't focus on the numbers like don't be discouraged because of the numbers you are getting that's what i mean i'm not saying you should not check your numbers or use it to gauge or, um, yourself and to gauge your channel growth and stuff like that but don't let that be a determinant factor on why you are creating content it should not be the reason why you should stop content creation because you don't have so many followers don't do that don't do that so um i became here by you know focusing on like why do i why am i i, I had to have this um realignment this mindset shift that why am i really creating content what what's my purpose like what is what is god trying to do to me to the world like i've always said this my I, i'm trying to make my voice not like i'm trying i'm allowing god to use my voice to reach people that's why i talk about faith topics and i talk about struggles in my 20s like relating to god and joining and i'm getting life with god and stuff like that so i'm using my voice like that what's something you hope your viewers take away from videos i always pray that any video i put out people learn something like i don't want you to miss something there's always something to learn from my sit down videos because i always pray before those videos and i know that they are godly inspired and most of the time even if i've scripted i always ask the holy spirit to speak through speak through me to people right and i want that to be able to change someone's life out there and and at the same time i'm also learning from my videos because sometimes when i'm talking i'm like you need this girl you need this you know you you know you need it stuff like that so i just hope that my viewers gain something like this should be so even for my vlogs there should be something you should gain from my videos i, I don't want just come and sit down and just be filming video that you will not no don't do that what's your favorite part about facts about creating content on youtube editing actually i enjoy editing my own videos my own videos i enjoy editing my videos I enjoy i enjoy editing vlogs most especially because i get to explore music i get to just see myself you know put some random clips together i just enjoy the editing part scripting scripting is not difficult for me i just enjoy i enjoy i enjoy all the processes when it comes out i enjoy all the process see you guys i'm speaking fast because of how excited i am i enjoy all the processes in content creation so yeah what are some of the biggest challenges you faced in pursuing your goals and how have you overcome that well uh, because i am comparing myself to other people who probably might who probably would have started their own channel before i did so i, I just like to compare myself and you know comparison is not it's not good don't do that because you just miss the point you lose direction you lose focus 
you become you just start floating you don't even know what you're doing anymore so that's a challenge i've been you know facing which is one of the reasons why i decided to do this 30 days challenge thing to break it and i don't care about the numbers if i'm doing it for myself that's important what's one piece of advice you give to someone who is starting out in a similar journey to yours baby girl focus or baby boy anyone now <laughs> focus on the reason why you're doing content creation don't let people comment non people not supporting you discourage you or take the purpose of which you are doing this for Christ. see don't let it distract you don't lose focus mind yourself okay did God call me to do this? If he is, okay, I'm just talking about an last because if God called you to do YouTube, to make your voice, to use your voice, right, for him. If God did that, right, always remind yourself, it's God that called me. And when God says do something, the capital and everything you need is go. So just remind yourself, why did I start this thing? Is it something I love? Is it something I enjoy doing? Is it something God called me to do? Are lives changing through my videos? Are people giving testimonies because of the videos I put out there? That should be it. Don't look at the numbers and don't be discouraged. Don't compare yourself because there are people that will start after you and will, will get monetized before you. But what is important is you reminding yourself of the reasons why you have started. That's it. That's a pure advice to you so this is the last question what is the next big project or goal you are working towards and how are you planning to achieve it big plan for this channel i just plan to you know elevate my space work more on my background that's something then i'm going to be introducing some new segments pretty soon out we having guests where we get to talk about stuff talk about things growing as 20 year olds it's coming up pretty soon right guys i just want to have go um guests basically um some people someone to come and then you know we talk together we discuss about the certain things that you know we're facing as you know adults you mini adults young adults and yes i hope you guys um learned something again from this video it's again my video guys ready to me video but i hope you did learn something from this video i will be seeing you guys in my next one do not forget to like share and subscribe 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 to my channel uh, thank you so much. I will be seeing you in my next one. Don't miss me too much. Bye.